Okay, so guys, what is up, Bonks Basil here, and today we are obviously back on Campaign of France map, which is a map that I am really starting to enjoy. But yeah, I have just driven up to the store before the video started, and we now do have our new bale trailer on the back, which is being a bit challenging, but should be good. So the first job today is to pick up the bales off fields two and three. And then we will be running through and getting some drilling done. The main job for day today is going to be the drilling. So, returning up to the farm now. I'm going to go straight on here and round to fields two and three. This way. Five bales, I think that's all we're due to collect. Looks like it. So, okay, for some reason, the tension belts are on the trailer there, but they just haven't actually gone onto the trailer, they're just underneath. They haven't gone over the bales, but they should be securing the bales down, and I'll see you guys down at the bale cell point. Okay, you guys, just rolling past the dealership now, and I think I am going to have to reverse in, which is going to be quite good fun. This is really going to put my trailer reversing skills to the test. There we go. There we go, £2,000 for those bales. A bit less than what we got last time, but it's still money worth having. So now, head back to the yard. And then into the class for some drilling. Okay guys, just come back from the cell point, just got back in. I think this bale trailer will go just perfectly if I can get my steering right in that bay there. Sort of just slid it in now. Let's try to neaten the job up a bit. Just park the JCB there into the big terror track which really is rather big for this map but then and again it's also really rather nice I am going to need to put some fertilizer back in that looks good now let's make sure that we've got I'm going to do 200 litres per hectare of solid fertiliser through the drill. I think will work rather nicely. And now is to plan what crops we're going to plant. I think I'm going to do those two of... Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do oats in field eight. Canola in two and three, and then soybeans in the big field. Okay, so that's the drill set up and ready to run. I am now obviously going to run GPS, even though these fields aren't the biggest. We have GPS on the tractor, so we might as well use it.
So we are doing both of these fields of canola and that is all pretty good. We weren't quite auto whipped right there, which was annoying. So now I'm just going to check whether we're auto whipped right coming down here. If we leave anything, then I'll just tighten it in a bit. Yeah. Just to be on the safe side. And then we'll double check that we're right going on the next field. And then if we are, turn the lines off and just get working on the fields. And yeah, this end piece is always a hassle. So I think I'm just going to do the best I can down here as and when we do come to try and expand the farm a bit. This is probably going to be one of the first fields that I sell just because of its size and slightly irritating layout. Yeah, our width is all good. I did miss that bit, but that was because that was my, me, not the computer. So, I'm going to take off the lines. Okay, so now that's that field not quite done. So I missed this bit here because I'm an idiot. And now it is time to go over and set and get going on the big field 154 and 46, the big field that we made in the last video. Okay guys, we're just coming up to field 1446 and 5, which is the big field that we made last time. And I'm going to be drilling this one with soybeans. So let's erase our old course. Make sure we're nice and close into the side. I'm just going to turn our GPS lines back on so I can see w what's going on with it because it isn't liking me trying to turn it on down there, which is a bit annoying of it. But anyway, and now along this length I'm going to set up GPS so then we'll be all good on that front. And then maybe fast farm some of it, I'm not too sure. That slightly ridgy bit is going to be annoying. I think I might have to come in and re-landscape the field a bit, but not now. The reason why I locked onto this course is just so then we get the edge, the field edge squared off and then we have five probably courses left down the middle of the field which will be quite good now, if I have calculated this correctly this should go straight through to the far fence line which would be really rather nice. Obviously depending on what happens here, let's see, yep so that hit all of it there which was good. Uh, 
and there we go guys that is field I don't even know what number to that is the mega field planted so now disengage GPS again There we go, on to a new GPS course, on with cruise control. I did the same thing there as I did on the mega field. Once I had GPS set up, I just used it down the other side of the field to get myself properly squared up to the field. Which works quite well. And now we're just drilling, drilling, drilling away. Really? Okay, guys, that is field eight now drilled. Oh crap, I put soybeans in. I meant to put oats in, never mind. We're just going to do a big soybean harvest this time around. I cannot be bothered to get back through and re drill it with oats, so it's going to be a bean field. That's fine. Now, I think it's also probably about time we got a pressure washer on the farm. Okay, so you guys are just pulling into the yard now. I am going to stop and buy a pressure washer and just put it corner there by our um, thing and then that will be it for today's episodes it's in place for us four and a half thousand very expensive but 100% worth having and then we'll get this machinery cleaned off because I don't think we've got anywhere else that needs drilling no we haven't so everything's drilled got mostly soybeans, bit of canola, and yeah, so mostly soybeans, bit of canola, let's get this stuff sprayed off, and all that being said you guys, I'll get these machines clean until we the next video, a slightly shorter video on here today, because you had a slightly longer video a couple of days ago on ETS2, and we'll have ETS2 and this and maybe some F1 2020 my team mode if you want to see it let me know down in the comments or whatever else you want to see also let me know down in the comments and with all that being said I'm going to put this machine away and I'll see you in the next one